Hey guys, Karan here from Mobi Scrub, and in this video, I'm going to talk about everything that I have on my phone, how I have it set up, how I use the widgets, the shortcuts, the gestures, and all the apps that I have installed on my phone. Now, one thing you should know that I'm using Nova Launcher to set this up, which is a good thing because as long as you have an Android phone, you'll be able to get this exact look if you wanted. Just one thing that the home screen setup itself, I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. So let's start with what I have on my home screen first. These are the widgets that I use, and these are apps that I use most frequently. The widgets are from Frizzy, KWGT, Widget Pack, all links in the description below. And it's a pretty functional widget. So this right here takes me to the clock. This over here takes me right inside my calendar. This is just weather information. This talks about how much my music has progressed of the current track that's playing on the left. I get the album art. I can play pause, I can skip tracks, and here I can just control the media volume. Then I've got two widgets, which is for Instagram and Facebook. Again, very simple stuff. And I do get my calendar entry of what's coming next. And then I've got these apps that I use very often. There's YouTube Music, Chrome, Google, Camera, Gallery, and Phone, because you know, you gotta call people. Now I don't have WhatsApp, for example, because that actually is so frequent that I just use a gesture to call it. It's that simple, a two finger swipe down, and I get it. Again, something that you can activate using Nova Launcher. Now let's talk about this camera piece here. I can click on it and get directly inside the photo mode, but I can also long press and press on video to get directly inside video. And this is really helpful for me. I also have two additional gestures. One is to be able to add a task on the fly. So I just have to rotate my fingers anti-clockwise on the home screen and I can add a task. I use Todoist for it and I'll talk more about it uh, later in the video. And then if I want to lock my screen, I just rotate clockwise and the screen gets locked. Additionally, I also have some tools on the edge panel, like the calculator. This is extremely handy because, you know, I can pretty much be on any app and I can call this edge panel right out. And then there are multiple edge panels. There are some tools for snipping. You know, if I want like a screenshot of a particular section, I can use one of these. I can make a GIF real quick. And then this is my clipboard. So everything I copy gets stored in this clipboard tool right here. And then again, back to the calculator. But that's because I'm using the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, which comes with the edge panel built in. There are quite a few apps, third-party apps that do this. I'll leave a link in the description below. And before I jump into the apps that I have installed, I just wanna talk about how I access my notification tray. I've got bottom quick settings, and that gives me access to my notifications as well as my settings with a swipe at the bottom. This is a lot more useful and it's easy because you know you could be pretty much on any app and you don't have to stretch all the way to do this. I could just swipe from the left or the right edge and it comes up. All right, so now let's talk about the apps that I have on my phone. And it's important to note the way I have grouped them is either in folders or as tabs like work, home, and payments. So payments obviously has all my money transfer or virtual wallet apps. Home has all the apps to control my smart devices like lights, speakers, um, you know, assistants like Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. And then these are the work apps that I use. And then these are the regular apps. And if you wanna know how to do all of this, it's really simple. Go into Nova settings, go into app drawer, and then scroll all the way down to draw groups. Go here and now you can create folders or tabs. Also a very important trick that I do is I go into app drawer and then I go ahead and hide apps. So I select apps that I just don't want to see. They're there in the phone by default and you can't do anything about them. You see them every day on your app drawer. So you can just hide those and that way they never show up in your app drawer and then it's just cleaner. You know, you've got lesser icons to deal with. All right, and now let's talk about the apps that I have on my phone. Comms, which is communications, entertainment, games, and Google. Nothing new in these four folders, it's pretty standard. I'll talk about icons in KWGT towards the end. Order online is just for food ordering, so again, nothing great over there. Productivity is an interesting one. So I like to keep myself very busy and I've got a lot on my plate all the time and being productive is the key to be able to do all of that. And these are the apps that I use to keep myself on top of things. So I use Google Keep Notes for quick, short-term, non-critical to-dos. I do them today and I forget about them tomorrow. Even if I don't do them, it's not a big deal, but they just remain inside Google Keep. So Google Keep is just for that. But for all my critical to-dos, I use Todoist. This is where I'm actually able to create projects. Within each project, I can have sub-projects. And then each project can also have sections. Each section can then have tasks. And then each task can have sub-tasks as well. So it gets really, really comprehensive and this works for me very well. And adding a task is really easy. So you just tap on the plus button and say, you know, pick up stuff. You can 
just type in the date and it will automatically assign it to that day. So it's Saturday on 3rd. You can give it a time. So 8 p.m. you'll get a reminder 30 minutes before. You can attach a priority. Let's say P1 is the priority. So the flag goes automatically. And then you can assign it to a particular project by just adding hash. So hash, let's say house. It's a house chore. And then just say done. And this is what I was trying to do on my home screen. So if I turn anti-clockwise, I immediately get that task adding capability. So while I use Todoist to track my work, I use Notion for my actual workflow. So for example, my video pipeline. I'm able to maintain a list of all my videos over here and then I can access pretty much any of my scripts. So for example, the soundbar review that's going to come up pretty soon. I have my script right here and I can use all my notes from here to shoot my video. And I keep track of what's happening, uh, you know, the tags, uh, whether I have it scripted or published or not, what month, what date I'm going to launch it. And even as a product manager in my other job role, you know, I can have my design pipeline up front right here. I can move things in different stages, view it as by status or by boards. It's really complicated and really comprehensive. So you really need to know what you're doing. Um, and there are quite a few videos out there explaining Notion and everything it can do. So if this is something that interests you, go for it. And I use Samsung Notes to jot down anything that comes to my mind instantly. You know, Some things just require a pen and a paper, and that's where this comes into play. Of course, I'm using the Note 20 Ultra, so I have access to my uh, S Pen right here, which I use a lot. And as you can see, I do use it quite a bit. Uh, and this is how I'm able to keep track of ideas, which I can then migrate over to Notion to furnish them even better. Now, there's also Taskito that I haven't used as much. I'm still exploring, so I won't talk about that much. But Medium is very important. So essentially, it's just a content app. There are articles. They're written by some really smart people in the industry. They know what they're talking about. And the content is just aces in my book. You know, it's not the regular publication stuff that you can find pretty much anywhere lingering on the internet. This is good stuff, guys. But why I have it under productivity is pretty important. It's because the kind of content that I'm subscribed to helps me get better at my work. It teaches me a lot of these life hacks, tips and tricks just to stay inspired and do really well for yourself. It works for me, guys. Uh, that's all I can say. So I've subscribed to the full year and that's how you get to read unlimited number of articles. But just get it. It's really great. All right. When it comes to social... I have a pretty sad social life. I do not use these apps at all. Actually, I just use Instagram maybe for research or some entertainment sometimes. But I don't use Facebook or LinkedIn as much. Um, from a utility perspective, I've got a couple of things here. And so I'll talk about just a few of these real quick. First one is One Hand Operation Plus. That's really handy for Samsung phones. You can basically use it to navigate. You can use it to you know access some settings. You can use it to... Basically, some gestures on the edges can be added to make your phone use even smarter. The next thing I use is Wenlo. So let's say you took a video that's really high quality and when you share and you tap on WhatsApp, the quality is actually reduced by WhatsApp. You know, they, they apply their own compression technique, which is not very cool. You can tap on Wenlo. You can do the trimming right here and then you can say continue and then it processes this video. And it'll try to maintain the best quality possible that you can then share over WhatsApp. And WhatsApp will not deteriorate the, f the quality of that video. And obviously, you can use it not just for WhatsApp videos, but also for Instagram stories, Facebook stories, and WhatsApp status updates and all that. The next thing I want to talk about is AirDroid, which I use to transfer files between my phone and pretty much any computer, whether it's a laptop, MacBook, desktop, PC. All I have to make sure is that my computer and my phone are on the same Wi-Fi network. And I just enter this URL in the browser, hit enter. I get this interface and then I can, you know, copy and paste files left, right and center. It's really good stuff. Then I have AOD Notify, which I use for notification purposes. You see, all these new phones, they don't have any way of notifying that you've got a notification. The LED notification is gone. And so I rely on AOD Notify to light up my screen with an always on display notification. It tells me which app what content, and it stays on for a while. Plus, it looks really cool. So that's what I use AOD Notify for. And then I already talked about bottom quick settings, uh, which is this app right here, which is, you know, all of this. All right, and now let's talk about the wallpaper apps, the icon packs, and the KWGT widget packs I have. So these are my all-time favorite wallpaper apps. Most of them are about abstract wallpapers, but I do keep one app called CRISPR for the real photographs as wallpapers. Very high quality stuff right here. And, you know, again, joy walls and all unusual wallpapers, wall rod, they have these abstract wallpapers that I can then use for customizations with beautiful icon packs and KWGT widgets and just make my home screen look more 
cool and maybe more useful. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much what I have. But let's talk about the icon packs. Now, these are some of my all-time favorite icon packs that I have. I either like icon packs that have shadows or are neomorphic in design or have gradients. So these are my favorite icon packs. And lastly, talking about the KW GT widget packs I have. So I'm a huge fan of neomorphic or shadows, right? So I've got shadow KW GT, frizzy, and um, dusk KW GT widgets, which are of that nature. I love gradients. So I've got exquisites, magenta, and frizzy, you know, doing that for me. And then the new iOS style widgets that have come out. Uh, there are some called Smart iOS widgets, the Sugar Cubes KWGT widgets, and the Fusion for KWGT, which offer quite a few of those new iOS widgets. And guys, that's pretty much it that I wanted to talk about in terms of how I have my phone set up, what apps I use, what tools I employ to ensure that I'm able to use my phone in a more you know, smart way, all the shortcuts that I have to get to different apps. So yeah, but I did promise you that I'll talk about my home screen setup. So it's really simple. I'll leave the link in the description below for the wallpaper. This is Bladiant Icon Packs, and this is Frizzy KWGT Widgets. So again, all links in the description. I leave a backup to my Nova uh, file, so you can just install that or restore that. And I leave the exports for these widgets as well. So you can just download them and apply. Hopefully that will work for you. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.